This video is sponsored by Post-it Brand. So at Uncle Tech asks, why the majority of your videos about Apple? I think it's time that I give the real answer. So I get a lot of questions, some of them very weird on Twitter, Instagram, even on YouTube, and I try my best to answer them all, but sometimes I can't get to them. And it's been a while since we did a Q&A video, so I am ready to A, some of your cues. We put out a call to question on all the social media platforms, including the YouTube community page. Uh, we got a bunch of, I think, awesome ones to kind of represent sort of the biggest questions that I've been getting over the past few weeks. Tim Lynn Shelton asks, will you use the Samsung Galaxy Fold as a daily driver if and when it launches? So a lot of people have made opinions on foldable devices and the Galaxy Fold in particular without ever using it. Uh, I used the phone for a week and I absolutely loved the form factor and I loved what the phone did. So should it ever come out, I would happily switch to that and I would switch to Android as my daily driver. I recognize the flaws in the design. The experience was amazing. Uh, being able to fold out to that larger screen was awesome. I use my phone at the gym, so being able to watch Netflix on a larger screen would be great. And it's something new, it's something different that we haven't seen. It's not just a different version of a good looking rectangle that you see across uh, you know, the Apple phones and the Android devices out there. So happily, would I use that phone? And I hope it comes out, and I hope I get a chance to use it on a daily basis. All right, TJ Gaming and Tech, iPhone 10R or iPhone 11R, which looks very weird written out. Will the iPhone 11R have better specs? Well, yeah, it's a newer phone, it's gonna have better specs. Pretty widely accepted that the next gen R phone will have the telephoto camera and just the generational spec bumps you get from one to the next. But I think you're better off skipping the 11R, the rumor of the 2020 R phone is gonna go OLED. And that is gonna be a huge step up. So if you can wait a year, I say wait for the next next gen of the R phone, assuming your phone is good enough. So Tech World asks, how do you think your content has changed since parting ways with Techno Buffalo? Uh, good question. Hopefully you guys can, can see the difference. The majority of my time was spent running the website and less time trying to be creative and making the videos the way that we wanted to make the videos. Now that I don't have the website to deal with anymore, 100% of my focus and everybody's focus is on making awesome video content that we are extremely proud of. I think you guys can see that over the past few months. And that's a perfect segue. If you guys like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe, most importantly, and then obviously hit the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up, all of that. Please, it's helpful. So I think at this point, pretty much everybody knows what a post-it note is. You probably have them all over your house and they're great for writing reminders down, lists, whatever you want, but they obviously live in the physical world. A post-it app for Android merges the digital and the physical together. You can have up to 200, you take your phone, take a picture of it, it imports into the app and it creates a virtual board. You can move them around, you can share them, you can annotate on top of that. It just digitizes what you already have and gives you the benefit of editing and sending it without having to you know, put a note inside of an envelope, address it. It's an awesome way to organize your thoughts, to-do lists, and when you write something down, now you can digitize it and take it with you all the time. If you wanna learn more, we'll link to it down below. So at Uncle Tech asks, why the majority of your videos about Apple? And the fact that people are recognizing that majority of our content is about Apple, I think is the reason that most of our content is about Apple. It tends to be what most people watch. And certainly being a YouTube channel that relies on video views for everything, um, we make content that we think is going to do the best and Apple content tends to do the best. Not to say every video is going to be about Apple. I think Android has a ton of interesting things and I still wanna cover it, I like Android in general. Uh, when it comes to topics, Apple is polarizing. People have opinions on it. I think it boils down to this. Android users tend to watch Apple content, but Apple users tend to not watch Android content. And that's the honest answer for why the majority of our videos tends to focus on Apple. All right, so next one, Raza Q on Twitter asks, what are you considering for your next car? Thinking about another Tesla. Uh, so the lease on my Model X is actually due in December. So I got 
three kids, so you gotta be able to fit three car seats in a car. I definitely wanna go electric. I certainly would've considered the Model 3. That probably would've been my number one choice for cost and electric and performance, but I can't quite fit three car seats across the back. My kids aren't all in boosters where it can fit, so kinda knock that one out. I'm, I'm hoping that Tesla updates the interior on either the S or even the X again. I went and test drove the Audi e-tron. That was awesome to drive. There's plenty of room in the back of that. Jaguar I-Pace, a car that we've reviewed a lot and I really like, is also being considered, but I'm not sure I can fit three car seats in the back of that. Um, hopefully something electric. I don't wanna go plug-in hybrid, I drive a lot, so pure EV, probably end up with another Tesla though. So probably the best avatar that I've seen, Smokel asks, what do you teach your kids about tech? Uh, that's been a tough one. So my oldest is almost six, my younger guy, uh, it's about three and a half. So obviously tech is all around my house, but trying to limit their exposure to tech is tricky. So as a dad, I try to sort of introduce them to things they're going to see in their lives, um, but they're naturally drawn to it. Like my oldest can teach my mother-in-law how to use her iPhone. She asks him how to work Roku. Uh, the natural acumen of kids to tech has been amazing, but trying to not let them have a ton of screen time. Uh, something that I serve, my wife and I are always working with as parents. All right, so next, Jacob B. What are your thoughts on the upcoming 16 inch MacBook Pro? Uh, awesome screen size, rumors of $3,000 starting price point, less uh, awesome, but if it does have things like Touch ID, cutting edge GPU, you know, the most up to date, minimum quad core uh, CPU from Intel, maybe it's justifiable, better keyboard thrown in there, 3,000 bucks, a lot of money for a laptop. But you know from Apple, it's gonna look good, have a killer marketing campaign, and be overpriced. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see it. Probably not gonna buy one though. I'd say that now. This video's not gonna, this, this quote's not gonna age well. So, Danner MM asks, what are your thoughts on the Apple Card? Uh, the thoughts have gone from, oh, that's cool, to it's a really nice looking physical credit card. It's great to get discounts at Apple Store. I think the benefits that it get are, are oftentimes worse than what you could get from another credit card if you shopped around. If you buy a lot of Apple stuff, it's great. If you pay your credit card bills on time in general, there are better credit cards to be had. If you wanna have a cool metal card, I guess the Apple card is a way to go, but I'm like very meh uh, on, on the whole thing. So this is a name you probably recognize. Brandon Havard asks, favorite pair of shoes in the collection? So the ones I'm, I'm rocking today are definitely uh, on that list. It's 2016, it's the bread, the band, Jordans. Um, but my favorite pair, I think it's still the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Highs. I absolutely love those. I'm a Jordan 1 guy, I just can't beat that silhouette. So we had a couple hundred questions come in. These are fun videos to do. I sort of just get to talk off the cuff and answer things that people are interested in. If you like these kind of videos, the best way to let us know is give it a thumbs up. If we get to 5,000, they'll know that you guys like this kind of video and we will do more. I enjoy making them. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching.